Hey guys, so it is that time again, time for some monthly empties. This bag is full of products that I have used up, and it also has some products in it that I didn't finish, but products that I'm just ready to get rid of, um, and I thought I'd just kind of give a little review on them before I threw them in the trash. So, uh, the first thing I finished, which I just finished yesterday, um, was the Olay Wet Cleansing Towelettes. These are one of my favorite um, cleansing towelettes. I use them to remove my makeup every single night, and I have tried so many different brands, and this one is probably one of my favorite. Um, it gets off my mascara, it gets off my eyeliner, it gets off my foundation, it's just, it's perfect. So if you are looking for a uh, makeup removing towelette, definitely check these out because they are awesome, and a lot of times you can find them on sale at CVS, and there's coupons for them quite a bit. So usually I pay like no more than a dollar for them, so that's great. I finished a, another, um, makeup removing towelette and I hated these. I have not hated a product so much. Oh, this sucks. This was the biggest waste of money. The only thing that's good about them is that they have a nice scent. Um, they're super dry. They don't take any of my makeup off. I felt like I was tugging at my skin. They irritated my eyes. Um, I literally wiped it over my eyes and my eyes were burning. I couldn't even see. I had to get in the shower and rinse off. Um, and I thought that they were going to be great because they're coconut water cleansing wipes. So I was like, okay, you know, a better alternative to a makeup removing wipe. No, these suck. So the only thing I used them for was to kind of wipe my hands off when I was doing my makeup. So crappy, don't buy them. They are a waste. I will never purchase them again, ever. And I never pay full price for makeup removing wipes. And those are the only ones that I bought full price. Never again. <laughs> The next thing I finished up was this Victoria's Secret Hello Darling um, Smoothing Body Scrub. I just hauled this not too long ago um, in my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. These did not last me, like, at all. Um, I think I got, like, I don't know, maybe 10 uses out of this, and that's crazy to me. This is a 7-ounce body wash, and I don't know, I just felt like I used a ton of it when I used it. And it didn't last me a long time, so I probably would not purchase this again. I also didn't care for the scent too much. I really like the scent um, in the lotion, but for some reason, the body scrub didn't smell so great. So, would not repurchase this. I don't know if you guys can hear all kinds of sounds going on, but my apartment complex has been like nuts today, and there's like crazy sounds, so I'm sorry about that. Um, the next thing I finished are these women's gummy multivitamins. Um, I have been wanting to take a vitamin and I can't swallow pills fun fact about me I cannot swallow a pill I just I can't so I decided to take these gummy ones and normally gummies are like disgusting but these actually taste pretty good um, I don't know that I'd repurchase them because I probably should go to the doctor and like get a real recommendation for vitamins but um, these aren't bad if you're looking for some they didn't taste bad so these are good and there's only where is it? Only 15 calories, which I guess is not too bad for two gummies. I don't know. Okay, uh, I finished a lot of body wash up this month for some reason. The first one I have is my signature vanilla uh, lemon, and I love this scent. It's one of my favorites. It always reminds me of being on vacation. Um, as you guys know, the first time I used it, I went on vacation with David for the very first time, and it just reminds me of that. So, I don't know, I really like this one, and I have a ton more in my stock. So, I finished up one of those. I also finished another Bath & Body Works soap. This is a travel size pink chiffon. I took this with us when we went to Georgia this month. Um, you guys probably don't know when we went to Georgia. I have a whole vlog for it, but I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to post it after all. Just drama. But anyway, um, I finished this one up. This is the pink chiffon. I probably already said that. Um, this one smells pretty good. I didn't like it at first, but it's not too bad. I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase it, but it's not an awful scent for sure. You definitely have to try it out for yourself. Um, I was trying to finish up uh, my summer body uh, washes and stuff in the shower before I went on to my fall scents, and once I did, I was trying to hold out and not use my fall scents until September, um, so I was trying to use up these little travel size ones, and that really didn't work because I ended up using my fall one anyway, but this one is the Dove Visible Care uh, Renewing Cream Body Wash, and I can feel that there's still a ton of product in here, but I could not get it out. For some reason, like this bottle, this packaging is awful. Um, I couldn't get anything out of it, so I am just going to trash this because it did not work very well. Let's see. Um, the next thing I finished was this Theraflu Warming Relief. Uh, this is the nighttime one. If you're looking for something to knock you out when you are sick, 
this will do the trick. Um, David and I came home with a little bit of a cold when we came home from Georgia, um, and I used this, and I got over my cold, like, super quick. So, I love this. If you are looking for something, like I said, to knock you out, this will do it. Like, after half an hour of taking this, I was asleep, and I do not sleep very well, so that definitely worked. Um, one thing that I haven't finished that I decided to get rid of is this Coconut Lime Verbena Body Splash. Um, this is a super old bottle. I've had it forever, and I'm just not crazy about the scent anymore. I know that they have Coconut Lime Breeze now, um, it's pretty much the same thing as Coconut Lime Verbena, but it just, I don't know, I just not, I think it's like when you use a scent so much that you just, you don't want to use it anymore, you just, you're like done. I'm kind of at the point with this one, so I'm getting rid of this. Um, I finished a Suave 24 Hour Protection Invisible Solid Antiperspirant Deodorant. This is in Tropical Paradise, this is pretty much the only thing I use, I really like it. Um, Tropical Paradise is a good scent. I finished this Satin Care Shaving Cream. You guys know I hate this stuff, so I'm not even going to talk about it. It sucks. I'm ugh, just trying to get rid of them. Um, another thing that I didn't necessarily finish, but it's all dried up and I've had it for so long that it's just not, I can't use it anymore. This is the Elf Nourishing Cuticle Pen. Um, I don't, I don't really remember using this too much. There's still a little bit, like, I don't know. It, pro it probably didn't work very well because if it did, I would have been using it and I wasn't using it, so. Didn't like this, I guess. I don't know, it's been so long. I finished up my Arbonne um, RE9 toner. I really like this. Um, too expensive for my taste, but um, it was nice. If you're looking for a toner and money is no object to you, check this one out. Um, I finished, well, didn't necessarily finish, but I'm getting rid of this FYI, uh, Sweet Frostings color palette. This is also from Arbonne. Um, inside has two eyeshadows, two cream eyeshadows and two lip glosses, and it also had eyeliners, which I don't even know what happened to those. Um, I finished the one eyeshadow a long time ago, and I held onto it to finish this eyeshadow, um, but I just never did, and it had been in my collection for so long that it dried out, so I can't even use it anymore. And I just think that these lip glosses, the way that they are, it's just like super not hygienic. Like, I just think it's gross. Like, there's hair and stuff in it. And ew, I would never use lip gloss like this. It needs to be covered. Um, so getting rid of this because I just, I can no longer use that eyeshadow. But it was a good eyeshadow. Um, I don't know if they sell it anymore. It was called Gingerbread, and it was one of my favorites. So getting rid of that. I have a few um, of these, like, trial... Um, samples that I got for Christmas. David had bought me a bunch of um, little sets of makeup that I just, you know, because I hate spending a lot of money on products I don't know if I'm going to like. So the first one is this Bad Gal Lash. Um, I really did like this. I thought it was great. I would probably repurchase it in the future. Um, it, I'm used to, like, not spending any money on mascara because I coupon and I can always get mascara for free or really cheap. So I don't know if I could get myself to purchase this, but I am sure I would love to get it as a gift. Um, the other one is the Urban Decay Lush Last Mascara, and this says it is a growth serum infused conditioning mascara. I did actually go ahead and purchase this one in the full size. Um, I just really liked it, so I went ahead and purchased it. I had a gift card, so. And then I finished the Urban Decay Eyeshadow um, Primer Potion, and I've always said that e.l.f. works just as great, and I don't need to spend a ton of money on this, but I loved this so much. I'm going to miss it. I was trying to use like every last drop of this stuff. It works amazing. Um, I did my makeup in the morning and I was up all night and I fell asleep with my makeup on and I woke up and my eyeshadow still looked perfect. So this stuff works amazing and I would love to have this in the full size sometime in the future. It just, it's awesome. Worth the money. Um, the next thing I didn't finish but I'm getting rid of is this Arbonne lipstick. I don't even know what color this is in. I'm sure they don't sell it anymore. It's like just, just a glitter lipstick and it just, it's not even the same color that it used to be. So it is obviously old and gross and time to trash. Um, the next thing are these Physician Formula. They, this was, came in a pack of three and it has the cover correct and conceal, I don't know. This one, I, there's like... I don't know what happened to it, but it's like black now, and that's gross. That's probably mold. Who knows? 
Um, and then this one is just so hard to blend that I just, there's no point. I'm not going to have a green splotch on my face, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, the next thing is this e.l.f. Zip Zapper. Someone had actually asked me to do a review on this. Um, sucks, doesn't work, it's not worth the money. I, crap. I finished another um, travel size body wash. This is the Olay Ultra Moisture Ultra Hydra Hydrate um, Body Wash. I believe I got these at Walmart. Um, this was like a super strong fake perfumey scent and it drove me nuts. I did not like it at all. I would never purchase this in the full size, um, which does kind of stink because I love Olay products, but this one's not good. Not good. Um, the other thing I finished was this Revlon Color Stay pressed uh, foundation or powder foundation. And I finished quite a bit of it, but it just it's not my color and it makes me look super cakey and it like sticks to my skin like if I have any dry skin it will show and it's just like it's awful so I will not be repurchasing this and then the very last thing which is another thing I didn't use up but it is this heel to toe spa pedicure collection uh, feels like new feet foot softener my mother-in-law gave this to me a long time ago because I had such bad dry feet um, this does work super well, but it is so sticky and gross that I cannot get myself to touch it. Um, it's just nasty. <laughs> I never even touched it in the first place. I made David put it on me because it's gross. Um, but if you are seriously like desperate and you need something, check this out because it does work really well. It's just, it feels so gross on your fingers. So that is it. So that is all that I finished up or I'm getting rid of in the month of August. I hope that you guys enjoyed this empties video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.